This cathedral was opened in 1875 and it serves ever since as a place of prayer and pilgrimage for the people of the diocese. It's an iconic building. No matter where you go in Sligo, you can see the tower of the cathedral. And in some ways that symbolizes the centrality of the cathedral from a physical point of view. But I think if you meet the people coming here to Mass, among them are people who have celebrated their marriages here, people who have come here for their children's baptism, or indeed who were baptized here themselves. And then of course, there's a certain bitter sweetness associated with the cathedral as well as, as the place where people um, bring their dead for uh, prayer, for burial. And uh, it's in that sense a very sacred space for them because they associate it with those last precious moments with the loved ones. It's a wonderful building. Uh, like all buildings, of course, it has challenges associated with maintaining it for the celebration of those very important moments in our lives. The cathedral has obviously suffered quite a lot from the effects of the weather. It's been standing up there higher than most of the buildings around it for over 150 years. We had a little thing when we were kids at school, you know, and you'd say, here's the church and here's the steeple, open the doors and there's the people. And of course, the, the real meaning of the word church is the assembly. The church building is only called the church because it's the place where God's people gather. And I suppose we're looking at God's people having gathered here for over 150 years, our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, and we look forward to our children, our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren gathering here in the future and uh, celebrating their faith and hopefully praying for us here as well.